Okay, so the next video, quickly, hopefully quickly, is going to be multitasking. So we've got multitasking, kind of, I think, kind of, on the iPad, and we've got multitasking, I think, again, kind of, on the Vega. So the way that you deal with multitasking on the iPad, so you open an application, and then head back to the main screen, open a different application, and head back to the main screen. Those two applications are still open. Double tap on the widget the Apple button there, and the, the open applications uh, pop up down the bottom. And you can pick which one you want to go back to. You can do that at any time. So double tap on there, it'll pop up this little doodad at the bottom, and you can switch with a lovely little animation to the next application. Interesting point, this lovely little animation a lot of the time serves as a mask for it taking a little while for it to load the other app up. Not very long, most of the time not very long at all, but sometimes it can take a little while. I'll use this as an example because for whatever reason the app store is a little bit screwy on, well I don't know if it's screwy on mine or whether it's because of my internet or what. So this is just launching the app store from cold because it wasn't, it wasn't running previously. I don't know why, it takes a little while, it seems to be quite intensive. And we've got the Android market here. This wasn't from cold, this was running already. If we come all the way out of it and launch it again. There we go, so we're back in the Android market, the app store still loading. I don't know why. Kill it again. We're in the app store again. I mean, the internet connection is actually not so bad on the iPad now because we were just browsing around using Atomic. I don't know why the App Store is weird. Another point as well is it took me a real age to get my uh, Apple ID on this thing in the first place because when I first got it, I plugged it into the computer and I activated it through iTunes and I got my uh, firmware update on it. And after that, I unplugged it from that freaking iTunes thing and I went off and sat down on the sofa and started trying to use it. And I got told as soon as I went to the App Store that I needed to make an Apple ID. So no problem, you need to do the same thing. You need to make a, a Google account on this to do the same thing. So I made an Apple ID, I filled out all the information, I filled out my freaking mother's maiden name, how many times on average I do a crap uh, per week, um, how many times I have had to tie my shoelaces in a single day before and all my credit card information despite the fact that I wasn't actually trying to buy anything I just had to put all of this freaking information into the goddamn thing and I finished it this marathon bloody uh, exam that they had me fill out I got to the end I finished it uh, it said there we go we've sent you an email confirmed uh, replied to the confirmation on this email and your Apple account is freaking sorted and uh, I never got the email so back I went again, tried to make the account again, told me the account name already existed, so I had to use a different email address. So I used a different email address, filled in all the information all over again on the iPad, and um, went, got to the very end bit after I'd finished filling in all my credit card information, and it failed. It just said timed out, couldn't, didn't work. I don't know why. So in the end, I lost my rag, gave up, went to the computer, plugged it into iTunes, registered an Apple account through the iTunes app on the PC, then logged on to it, logged on to that um, Apple account on the iPad which then worked so I could go and start downloading some stuff I don't really know what's going on with the market I was going to try and show you guys both the markets again compared to each other just for a couple of reasons but I don't really know what's going on so anyway multitasking on here uh, the multitasking works you push the back button which is woo which nearly knocks the damn thing over the back button now I've got an app installed called Multitask Manager which brings up this lovely little thing here and you can switch to any of your open applications. So I've got Mirror and Browser, ADW which is my home screen and the, um, the Android Market open at the moment. I can switch to Mirror and Browser by tapping on this, hopefully. There we go, switch to that. Um, I'm going to kill this Disney website because it seems to be killing things a little bit at the minute. So Home button again uh, and we'll switch to Market. There we go. Home button up here because you've got the on-screen home button or you've got the hardware home button if you've turned it on in spare parts. ADW takes you back to your home screen. So I will also launch up the gallery app. Gallery app open as well. Home button. Back to market. Home button. Back to mirroring. And again, back to the gallery. Possibly if I just tap that right. So there we go. 
a little bit jumpy there going back to the gallery because it's loading all the images back up so here we're going to go to Safari it's quite quick back to Atomic again quite quick usable pretty much straight away that's no problem App Store now I was going to use the App Store as an, ex as an example of something that lagged because I've had problems when you go back to the App Store after being away from it and it's still open you end up with a, bit, a little bit of lag when it has a think about um, what you were doing previously. So I'll load something up on Twitter. So I'll load up one of my tweets. And we'll nip to the mail app. So the mail app is usable quite quickly. There we go. We will then go back to Twitter. It's quite nice. Switches around. I'm not sure what's going on here. I think I might might have hit the issue again with the um, with the internet connection on this. I don't I don't still don't know 100% what's going on with it. Seemed to work earlier when I changed that setting, but let's just try it again, just in case. And we'll change that to auto. See if that makes any difference. And head back. There we go. Uh, and let's just see if the app store wants to work now. Oh. Oh. Your search got no results, so that's fine. That's not a problem. Let's cancel that. Hopefully we'll go back to the featured page. Yes, we have. That took a really long time. I'm not sure why. And we'll go back there on the paper as well. If I push the button hard enough without knocking the thing over. Back to the market. Okay, so we're going to use this as an example real quick. So, we're going to switch to Twitter on here. And then we're going to switch to, whoops, we'll go back to Safari. And then we will head to mail again. And then from mail, this is as we're using it, we'll switch to the app store. The app store is loaded. I want to search. I want to search. There we go. Now the search is kicked in. This is just an example. A couple of apps do this. Not all of them. Some of them are really quick to respond after they switch back. But the market seems to be a little bit memory intensive and it needs to free up some resources while it, uh, when it kicks back into life. So it can be a little bit slow. Not too slow, but it's, again, it's a bit frustrating. Same as the frustration on the Vega when you turn the damn thing on from sleep and you want the Wi-Fi to come on. Now, another thing that I genuinely pisses me off on the iPad, and this is only because, possibly because I'm picky, but so here's what happens on the Vega when we install something. I want to install that. I'll accept these permissions that it's, that it's given me. Then what I want to do is I want to go to this uh, Sky News app. I also want to install that. Okay. Ooh. While I'm doing all of this and chucking my Vega around the place, everything is happening up here. You get a little notifications, and if I swipe down this notification bar, here's what's happened while I've been browsing. A lot of the time, what I want to do is I want to search for an app. So I want a Twitter app. I don't know what Twitter app I want, but I want a Twitter app. So I launch it up. Oh, I launch it up, and I uh, I find two or three Twitter apps. I install all of them and then I go back to my desktop and I look through them all and I decide which one I like. So I'm trying to hit the buttons without knocking the thing over now. So there we go. So those couple of things I've just installed are all installed. They're there. I can clear the notifications or I can launch the, launch the installed app straight from the notification thing. So there we go. Sky News. The problem is that on here, if you go to install something, so if I pick to install this, Install that. There we go. Now, something else I want to install. I'm going to have to put my password in here, which is annoying. So, I'm just going to cover the screen. So, there we go. Password's in. I don't know how much of that you guys saw. Hopefully, none of it. Right, so I've installed it. Now, it's launched me out of the market. It's, clo it's closed the app store. It's taken me to the home screen. And it's shown me that it's installing this little app. Great. That's brilliant, but I didn't want to go to the home screen. I wanted to carry on looking for apps. So I'm not going to install something else. So that's installed. Uh, oh, look. But I can't do it. It's not like I can launch it. I under, I'd even understand it if it took me back to the home screen after it had finished launching it and showed me the app or even gave me a notification asking me if I wanted to launch it. But it doesn't do that. It just takes you back to your home screen, closes whatever the hell it was you were doing, and shows you this little progress bar. And if, for whatever reason, your stupid internet connection isn't working, absolutely bugger all happens at this point. Great, thanks for that. It wasn't like I was doing anything, you just interrupt me whenever the fuck you want, why don't you? So that annoys me. 
Not having to swipe down on this thing doesn't annoy me so much, but it just deciding as and when it's going to do things kind of pisses me off. That's just me. So that's a little brief bit of multitasking, a little bit more about the, the markets on both of these.